probably been way over a year since I've actually gone back to my roots of this YouTube channel and did a sneaker unboxing. So a lot of people might not realize it, but this, this YouTube channel used to be 100% dedicated to sneakers it's sneaker culture, sneaker news, sneaker releases, sneaker unboxings, sneaker reviews for I think maybe about three years or so. But then I completely reformatted my channel, changed what I did because honestly I needed a mental break because you can only talk about sneakers for 500 videos and you're kind of, you've, you've said what you needed to say. You know, you reviewed every sneaker 10 times, just a different colorway. But it's been probably over a year since I've done any kind of sneaker video. Today, I was looking at my small stack of new sneakers that I purchased from online websites. And I said, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a sneaker unboxing. Do this. So what I got for you today is I got one package from Adidas. Got a pair of Yeezys right here. Then here's two more boxes. I think one of these is the Uptempo Olympics and then probably a pair of Jordans, I'm thinking. Not 100% sure actually. But let's go ahead, I'll save the Yeezys for last. Yeah, this should be Yeezys. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's see, so I think I have up over 500 videos of just sneaker unboxings and reviews. So if you've ever wanted to see what I used to do on this YouTube channel originally, I've got probably a hundred hours worth of videos to watch. But some of those I did, you know, five years ago, six years ago. So a little bit of a different setup. My camera, I started using just my cell phone in, in the beginning, so the quality isn't that great. Audio is not that great. So. Uh, you know, watch some of my old unboxings. It's like going back in time into a time capsule and seeing how, you know, I used to do it in the beginning of this YouTube channel. Here we go, first pair. Purchased from a Foot Locker. So right here on top, it is a pair of Jordans. How much did I pay for these? Okay, I paid $181, that was with sales tax. Okay. Let's see what I got. I think I know which pair this is. So I'll show you the box first. You got your Jordans. Oh, okay, I know what this is. You got your man size 13 here on deck. Yeah, that's well, one of my very old sayings I used to say on this, on this YouTube channel four or five years ago, man size 13. So we're just, we're just going back in time in this video saying some things I haven't said for a long time, but we got your man size 13 on deck. Let's go ahead, let's see what we got in here. So we have the Jordan 11 Low IE colorway. I think they call these something like the, uh, like the black cements possibly, because that's kind of what it looks like. The Jordan 11 Low IE black cements. I know the Jordan 11 Low IEs are not the most popular like form of shoe. The Jordan 11 Lowe's with the patent leather all the way around it is the more known model. And of course the Jordan 11 Highs with the pure patent leather all around the shoe. That's what most people are known for. But back in the day, Jordan actually did break out the IEs. And uh, I've only owned a couple pairs of these in my lifetime. I'm not the biggest fan of the IEs myself, but I saw this colorway and I thought it actually looked really, really good for like a black cement, kind of a Jordan Low IE colorway. So here's both pairs. Of course, you got that icy sole. First time you wear these shoes, the bottom of your, your sneakers will start turning kind of like the color of urine. It just happens over time. This clear sole will turn kind of like a urine yellow color. It's just the age in the shoe. You know, like ages with fine wine kind of. But yeah, first pickup. So I still do buy shoes every single month. I probably buy two, three, four pairs a month, maybe. Sometimes more, sometimes less. And these are just sneakers I picked up pretty much for the month of July 2020. So I bought, what? actually I bought four pairs total. One pair I'm still waiting to receive from Nike. First pair of Jordans I picked up for this last month. And here we go. This was a pair I picked up from Finish Line. So I'm pretty sure these are the up tempos. 
the sneaker that the whole side of the sneaker says air on it everybody knows like they scotty pippen made him famous pretty much it was called kind of like the pippins and i paid for this i think i actually got them on sale too oh there is no price on them so i think i had them from finish line i think i got them on like like 30 or 40 dollars off some something like that here we go show you the label first you got your man size 13 it should be a size 13 at least Yep, Air More Up Tempo, man size 13. Retail these were 160. Like I said, I think I got them for like 120 or 130 from the website. Show you that box that everybody knows is that orange Nike box. On top, open these thing up. Let's take a look at these. The 1996 Air Up Tempo Scotty Pippins. Yeah, these are the shoes that he wore when he played on the Dream Team 2 for uh, the Olympics. And actually, I do have the pair that came out before these somewhere. Actually, right here. These actually came out back in February of 2016. So this pair here is four years old. I actually haven't worn them. So I just picked up another pair. This is kind of like the new retro release of these. These were actually made in... December through February 2020. So actually, these were made four years apart. Exact same shoe. Leather quality, actually. Actually, leather on these feel a little bit, a little bit softer. Actually, on on the newer release, yeah, it is. The leather is a little bit softer on these, but the cut looks about the same on them. So sometimes I do double up and triple up on shoes, and uh, sometimes sneakers just don't get worn because I do own a couple hundred pairs of shoes. And uh, I'm kind of like a sneaker collector. I do wear some, and some I just don't ever wear them. Like to me, like this sneaker is almost like a it's a piece of art. It came out when I was 16 years old. This is part of my childhood, or really like my teenage years. So yeah, nice pickup right there. So I had the 2016 release, and now the 2020 release of the Arab Tempos. So we got one sneaker left for this video. This is going to be kind of like the coop, the graw of this video. We do have a pair of Yeezys. So I think these these actually took like two weeks to get to me. By the time I, I bought them and actually got into my hands, it was, it was like, I think it was like two weeks. But these shipped back on the 24th. These just came in. Um, don't know when this actually will go live, but it took seven days from the day that these shipped. Then it took over a week before, like, the handling time, the packaging time. It took a long time. But I do have probably about, I don't know, maybe 15 pairs of Yeezys in my collection. And I honestly only wear probably about three of them out of the 15. <laughs> Quite a few are still dead stock. Dead stock for people who haven't really watched my channel in the past. Dead stock just means a sneaker that has never been worn it is still like factory factory laced it's still brand new i mean dead stock does also mean stock that's just dead it doesn't sell anymore but in terms of the sneaker culture dead stock pretty much just means a dead stock brand new sneaker never been worn never been tried on factory laced good to go so yeah got your man size 13 here on deck yeezy 350 v2s interested to see these things in person see what they look like Okay, that's not bad. It's kind of like the upper. In pictures, it looked more kind of gray. But in person, it kind of has a, a faint, kind of like a purple tint to it, kind of. It might just be actually the fluorescent lights in this room that are making it look like that. But I actually, I couldn't tell you what these are actually called. Because um, every Yeezy always has like their own name, like called the Statics or called the you know Belugas and Turtles and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what they call this one. Not sure. But these do have those clear, actually these aren't clear, milky bottoms on the sneaker. And actually when you start wearing these, same thing happens. Your bottoms don't turn like a urine yellow like the Jordan 11s do, but they do start getting a much darker color. But actually, all in all, this is actually, it's a pretty clean colorway. Not too bad. Retail on these were 220, I think with taxes like 242, something like that. So yeah, brand new, Yeezy 350 V2s. So that's what I got for you today. Those were my July 2020 pickups minus one pair that's still on the way. All in all, my sneaker collection is still growing. 
from time to time I do sell sneakers. Whenever I do sell them, I usually sell them on StockX. So that's just a little bit more of the past of the Franchise Kicks YouTube channel. This used to be a 100% sneaker-based YouTube channel. From time to time, we'll go back to my roots and do a sneaker unboxing. Mm -hmm.